Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I have another watch up for review. Uh, this is the uh, Also Rock, um, made in Nigeria. Okay, these guys are out of Africa. A couple, uh, I believe a couple of brothers uh, from there. Um, pretty cool. I, from what I understand, all the proceeds from the watches, not all the proceeds, but part of the proceeds from the watches that they sell are gonna go to the community over there. Uh, to build, you know, schools, you know, playgrounds, stuff like that. So I think it's, uh, they got a great cause, you know, great idea. Uh, they want to give back, you know, so that's, that's awesome. Um, let's check this thing out. Let me get this uh, out of the little pillow here. So first thing you guys are going to think right off the bat is this looks like a, a Hublot, and it does. Um, it's, it <laughs> very much resembles a Hublot, uh, you know, chronograph, and they're just, those are huge, massive watches. You know, you'll see a lot of basketball players wear them, you know, people that have big time money, those are twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 for those pieces. Uh, I'll probably never see one where I live, you know, walking around town, um, more than likely anyway. But, um, this uh, is what it kind of resembles, but you know, I think it's um, you know kind of to their own style in a lot of ways. Um, you know, their own their own design. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, it's it's big for me. I, I I wouldn't wear a watch that's this big. In fact, I'll get the dimensions out of the way real quick. But to each his own. If you have a pretty big wrist and you're a big guy, you can you can pull something like this off. Or if you're a smaller guy and you just like big watches, this is gonna fit the uh, bill there for sure. Um, this is called the Speed Racer, okay? Um, the size of this is 52 millimeters across, okay? Which is pretty big. And then 56 millimeters tip to tip, okay? Um, it's 16 millimeters uh, thick, okay? It's got this sandwich designed case, okay? Um, and I believe they're, tw I, you know, I didn't get that measurement, but I believe it's 24 millimeters across, okay, for straps. And I'm sure you could probably change the strap out. It almost looks like it's integrated in here, but you could probably unscrew it here and, you know, pull them out. But um, got a nice deployment clasp here. Um, there's your case back, speed racer, stainless steel, um, water resistant. So it's running a Miyota movement, okay? And you can tell it's quartz. Um, you have a 24 hour hand here, 60 minute, and then you got your seconds over here. Um, very nice, you know, it's got this rose gold with some black accents, these screws, makes it, gives it this industrial, you know, look to it. So it's a pretty big, bold watch. I mean, you wear this thing, you're gonna definitely command some attention. People are gonna check you out. Hey, what kind of watch is that? You know, so this is something, uh, you know, pretty, pretty bold. Um, if you look at the crown guards here on each side, protects your crown. Um, let's see if it, I'm not even sure, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not even sure if it screws down. I don't think it does. Um, in fact, it probably pops out, but you know what? The way this is designed in here, I can't even pull that out. So let's skip that part. Um, here is the chrono function, okay? Let me stop it and see if it'll reset. Well, maybe, you know, this is probably a prototype. Um, I'm not really sure, but it doesn't look like I'm able to get it to work. Well, there it goes, it's just zeroed out there. Let's see, okay, there you go. So this hand's always running. Okay, and then there's your your seconds counter for the chronograph, your 60 minutes and your 24 hour counter there. Okay, so that's how it operates. It's got this kind of waffling on the dial. You kind of see that. Looks like the uh, hour markers are applied. You have a 60 minute track uh, inner uh, chapter ring there. Um, red uh, hour uh, counter hand. You know, you got three sub dials there. You got your date between the four and the five o'clock right there. So, you know, it's got everything you need. It really does. Nice deployment clasp, pretty basic, nothing special. Rubber, you know, rubber strap, okay, not bad. Signed buckle, <laughs> um, which is cool. So yeah, there you have it, guys. This is the uh, Oso Rock, um, made in Nigeria, okay? Straight out of Africa. But um, pretty cool, signed crown, you know, so. If you guys like this, what I'll do is, uh, I got this from Aaron over at the OFD channel. I'll put his link, uh, uh, 
to the in the description for his review, a link to his review, and then I'll also see if I can find their the website to this company, and I'll add that in the, in the description as well. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. You guys take care. Have a great day. Thank you. Goodbye.